Now, my uh, my my little girl Jordan loves you to death. Mm-hmm. You know, you 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 hooked her up with a birthday video back in the day. But mm-hmm. also, my mom loves you. All right. <laughs> Whenever I talk to her about wrestling and you involved, I get told, "What happened? Don't tell me." Okay, just let me know. Like those, <laughs> those are she don't want to see nothing happen to Bianca. What does it feel like to for someone who didn't watch the business and to be put into this position? How good does it feel to have the the approval rating that you do? Right. You know, you are a hero to to so many. Um, and for you to be discovered the way that you are, it just seems like this is the right place, right time for you. And O'Shea, just if I could piggyback on that, Bianca, when when you look out and you see the amount of girls, and I'm talking girls of all colors, of all ethnicities, and they all got that braid going and they're all doing the skip and, and they're spinning. Yeah, to piggyback on what his, he said, like how does that feel for you to see that? It feels amazing. It feels like, you know, that feeling you get when you feel like you're walking in your purpose that's what it feels like. I truly feel like I'm walking to my purpose. I feel like it's that validation of like what you're doing is working. It has an impact, it has an, an, a positive influence on people. Um, and it's even it's even more special when I know it's like multi-generational, right? You see little girls, you see grown women, you see boys, you see grown men. Um, you know, my favorite thing is doing meet and greets and seeing the little ESTs that come in. And that's actually what inspired my WrestleMania entrance. Um, you know, I saw these little girls and I'm like, these are my little ESTs. And, um, you know, I I always say, I want them to see themselves in me when I'm out there. And I'm like, no, they, I want them to see themselves on that stage. So that's why I got the the Divas of Compton. It was a a girl dance group from ages seven to 11. I had them on the stage with me at WrestleMania. And listen, those girls had the the most confidence I've ever seen. I was like, I wish I had that confidence Mm -hmm. when I was their age. I can't imagine that how they're going to change the world, but that's what it's all about. Like some people go out there, you know, they love to get the booze. They love to get the cheers and it's an ego thing. But to me, it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm creating this legacy and my role models did amazing things for me and I can be a role model for somebody. It sounds so cliche, but it's like, it's so true. And, um, it's a, it's a really special feeling. Like I'm doing something I never imagined I would be doing, and now I'm doing it. I'm having this crazy impact, and so it's like I'm walking to my purpose. That's a whole other feeling besides like accomplishing wins and championships and maybe even a WrestleMania. When like you're walking in your purpose, it's a uh, it's an amazing feeling. Watch new episodes of No Contest Wrestling every Wednesday or listen wherever you get your podcasts. And don't forget to follow us at No Contest Wrestling Podcast on Instagram.